Let me show you how to do this in Photoshop. So, let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you how to create this kind of effect on your images, how to create the cracks on human face or to put them wherever you want. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's the fun begin. Today we will create some cracks on this girl's face and to do that we need to find some cracks photos. And I have my set of 40 different cracks photos that I shot in my studio. I shot some broken pot and I will include just two of them, this one and this one in your exercise files. But if you want to use all of my 40 different cracks photos that are really high resolution, you can go to my website, link is down there in the description and you can buy them for just a couple of bucks. Right, let's first start with this photo. I will right click and I will go edit in Photoshop. So the photo will open in Photoshop and I will just select all with Control Command A, then Control Command C to copy and I will close this because I will not need it anymore. So Control or Command W. And I will just paste right here Control Command V. That's just one way how you can paste the photo to another document. All right, and now I will make this photo much smaller because this is really high res uh, file. So let's make it small like this and I will flip it horizontally, right click and go flip horizontal and just put it somewhere here. All right, and now I will transform this from a normal, put from normal to multiply blending mode just to see what I am doing and where will I position this. And I think this looks good maybe right here and I can freely stretch this, go right click and warp this if I uh, don't like the position because I can do whatever I want with this and when I'm satisfied how this is looking, I can press OK and that's it. Now we need to make all of this go away and to have uh, just only those cracks on the screen. To do that, we will use just few adjustment layers and some masking. So it's really straightforward process. It just takes a little bit of time. So let me show you how to do it. All right, first thing that I want to do is to turn this texture into black and white. And for that, I will use black and white adjustment layer, click on that. And now I want this adjustment layer to affect only the texture down below. So I will clip it to the layer down below by clicking on this icon here or you can clip it by holding alt or option key and click between those two layers. And that's another way how to do it. Now we can play with the sliders and make the texture brighter so that the more of the skin will be visible. But I will not use uh, that method right here. I will close this and I will choose another adjustment layer is the curves. And again, I will clip the curves with the layers down below and I will make everything brighter. So this is what I was looking for. I want to see only those cracks. Almost done. Another thing that I want to do here is to turn this from black and white to a little bit more of the skin color. So for that, I will use hue and saturation adjustment layer. Again, again, clip it to the layer down below and click this colorize option. So now we'll just lower the saturation, maybe go a little bit to the right towards the yellows and let me see this is much much better before and after before and after okay now we just need to clean up some details here and we are done with this so to clean up some details i will go to texture layer down below we can name this texture texture one All right and i will add a layer mask to it yeah i will i will use black really soft brush and i will just paint on those Yes, I need 100% opacity paint on those parts that I don't need to be visible. That's one way how you can paint and turn everything off. Or you can just turn off the curse adjustment layer if you want to be sure that you're painting on everything that you don't need here on the screen. And for this tutorial, I will be a little bit more sloppy. I will do this a little bit more faster to save some time. But when you're doing this for yourself or homework or some project, please invest more time because if you invested more time in this, the results will be much better. So let's turn on the curse adjustment layer. And this is not bad at all. I will go and clean up a few more things. I don't like this shadow, so I will change to 20% opacity and just 
paint to clean that up and I will go right here with 100% opacity brush and a little bit harder one and change this I will erase this maybe something like that and I think it's looking a little bit better maybe like so again I will use softer brush and this is just experimenting with the brush softness and playing with this mask masks here okay and this is already looking much better one thing that I like to do right here is to go to curse adjustment layer use a black color brush really soft one maybe 20% opacity here and I like to bring back some darkness from uh, the original texture because with the curves layers a layer we just made everything brighter but here I actually like this to be darker the inside part of the cracks and then we are done with this first texture so a few more things here now I will fast forward I'll just bring those parts make those parts a little bit darker Alright guys, and that's it. We are done with our first texture and you can see this is really looking nice and now we need to populate this, uh, the face with few other textures. So I will go back to Lightroom and choose another one. Maybe I will choose this for a forehead. Let's go and put it into Photoshop and I will just copy it, close it and paste it right here but at the top of everything. Press Ctrl Command T and make the texture lot smaller and now everything is exactly the same like I did with the first step so completely the same I will make this smaller then I will change it to multiply blending mode to see what I'm doing I like to go here over the nose and on the forehead and I will go right click to enter the warp uh, transform tool and I will just change the position how I like it maybe something like this all right, and I will press OK when I'm done. And now to save some time, I will just copy all those three, select all those three adjustment layers, press and hold Alt or Option key, and just move, drag them to duplicate them above everything. And now I, by holding Alt or Option key, I will just click in between those layers to affect only this texture number two. Okay, and I will go back to Curse Adjustment layers, a layer and fill it with the white. To fill it with the white, if white is a foreground color, I will press Alt or Option key and Backspace and that's it. I want to uh, reset everything that is filled in the previous Curse Adjustment layer. All right, and now I will repeat everything like I did in the previous step. I will create a new layer mask here and erase everything that I don't need to be visible on the screen and so on and so on. So I will fast forward this and see you in a few seconds. All right guys, and that's it. I did exactly what I did in the previous, in actually first uh, step with the first texture and now I have this as my result. Now I will go here where the hair is and go on the texture mask here and I will choose black brush, really soft one, black color 100% opacity and I will just paint with a smaller brush like paint some hair back just to have better result here just to hide some parts of the skin just some more realism to it all right and now this looks like it's behind some hairs here and that's basically it now we will need to do exactly the same steps for third texture and four texture how many texture we want to put on her face so i will go back to lightroom and i will choose another texture this time i will go maybe for a chin and for a chin I can choose let's use this one why not right click edit put it in Photoshop and guys again I will fast forward this I will do exactly the same steps like previous two alrighty guys and we are done with the chin now let's go and add another texture right here on her left cheek so let's go back to Lightroom and choose another let's choose this one 
go back to Photoshop and completely the same procedure. Really easy, only uh, minus thing about this is that a little bit that that is a little bit time consuming. So sometimes we need to invest a little bit more time to have really great results. So let's put this into multiple blending mode. And this time I will just by holding uh, control key move those handles to change the perspective a little bit of this these cracks and position them where I like to have them something like this is really nice I will press OK and again copy all those three layers clip it to affect only this one and clean this layer mask into white and now again I will delete everything by putting a mask on this one black brush 100% opacity and just erase what I don't need so I will again fast forward see you in a few seconds Right, guys and this is it for her left part of the face and we are almost done I just like to put something more here on the forehead so let's find let's go in Lightroom and find another texture for that let me see mm -hmm, which one is nice maybe maybe this one I think this is a nice position that one or this one can be nice let's let's use this one for now and again completely same procedures so I will again fast forward everything all right guys and that's it we are finally done of course you can add even more details if you like choose different kind of textures different kind of cracks to create your own style your own uh, preferred image so I am really satisfied how this looks for now and now I'll go to first layer scroll all the way down to the last layer of those cracks and press ctrl command G to group them and name these cracks okay and now we can play with a color correction of this image and that's basically it we are done with this tutorial I will, I will merge everything together with shift ctrl alt E or shift command option E on a Mac and I will go to filter and camera roll let's go there and now I will go to split toning tab and choose some bluish tint like this and I like to make this image more bluish feel and maybe maybe a little bit more of yellowish greenish tint on the highlights just a touch maybe even more like this then I like to add some vignetting to feather that and to sharpen this image in general a little bit why not and I like to go to basic tab here and add a little bit of contrast shadows blacks and a little bit of the clarity dehaze it pull the vibr vibrance up and saturation a little bit down and this is something before and after before and after not bad at all maybe a little bit more up with the shadows and let's go back to split toning let me see something like this and just a touch of that and that's okay I will press ok and we are done as you can see guys this is the result before and after before and after right guys that's it for today I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it and if you find this episode helpful and useful please like it and consider subscribing if you're not already. Right guys, if you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. If you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Practice, experiment, have fun with this great effect and see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.